Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle, and this is a special review because we have a Sonic Screwdriver game. We're gonna show you the good, the bad, and the silly about this game, so stay tuned. Be right back. So what do I mean by a Sonic Screwdriver game? I don't know how widely this was distributed, but this is like laser tag. Only you have a sonic screwdriver of the 10th Doctor and a sonic screwdriver from the Master. Excuse me, laser screwdriver for the Master. And a Taclafane target to practice with. So this works by shooting infrared laser beams. They can't really hurt you. There's a switch on the side and when you turn it on you get five lives. So you can get shot five times before you lose. Same thing with the switch for the Master's laser screwdriver and the five lives right there. And you can turn on the tackle thing who also has five lights. So you can shoot this five times. So you could play games where you were trying to shoot each other and see who could shoot this first. You could just use this for practice. And again, this shoots a beam of infrared just using the regular button right there. I do have to say, the 10th Doctor's one sounds kinda pathetic, whereas the Master's laser screwdriver sounds pretty spot on. Comparing side by side, this is the laser screwdriver that comes with the game. This is the one that you can get just as a role play toy, cosplay, whatever you wanna do. This one extends, the one for the game does not. However, the sounds are virtually identical. This note is a little lower, otherwise they're pretty much the same. It looks like it was pretty much the same mold used, though the game laser screwdriver has the tip turned a little bit, so it doesn't match up exactly. But still, you could just use this at a con. The game one also appears to be a little bit shinier. So this is the 10th Doctor screwdriver for the game. This, well, I couldn't find my regular gray one. I lent it to somebody, and then I didn't put it back with the other sonic screwdrivers, and now, who knows where it is? The cats are probably playing with it. But you can see the mold. This one is slightly thicker in size, slightly longer when not extended. But of course you can extend the role play 10th Doctor's Sonic, which this one is from the 50th anniversary, to make it longer. But the sounds... Yeah, this one does not sound very good. I don't know if that's by design or just happens to be because this is not exactly a brand new toy. Maybe there's some slight corrosion inside of it that doesn't keep it from working, but messes up the sound. I have no idea. If you happen to have this and your sounds better, please let me know in the comments. So this is a slightly different mold, a little thicker, and you can't take the tip off so that you could use a pen. But still, if someone sees you walking around at a con with this, they will know what screwdriver you have. So when firing, the taclafane make quite a noise when you hit it. It doesn't matter which device, whether it be the sonic or the laser screwdriver actually hits it, it makes the same noise as if it's getting killed. And once all five are gone, you can hit the reset button and you're back to five. The screwdrivers themselves, when you fire them at each other, you have to shoot the end, but kind of straight on in order for it to actually measure. Now these work perfectly fine for fighting indoors um, or on an overcast day where it's kind of cool. We did try to have a bit of a match outside in a park on a very bright and sunny day. It didn't work out that well.
As you can see, Paypocalypse and Maiden are very competitive. If these don't work, they will get down in the dirt and just have at each other. So it's a fun game, again, not in a very well-lit, sunny park. It has a pretty good range indoors or in a dimly lit area, or you could try it at night. That could be fun. Once you play and finish, Obviously, you don't want them to uh, do this during the game, but there is a reset button on each device. However, it seems the reset button will only work if you have no more lives. So if you won and you still have four lives, you actually have to... shoot until there are no more lives, and then you can hold down the reset button and get five lives which I think is kind of good yet bad. I mean, someone can't cheat and get shot twice and then just reset it back up to five unless they turn it off and on again. Have you tried turning it off and on again? So are they really fooling somebody or are they just trying to like not have them accidentally hit the reset button? Now, where are you gonna find one of these sets? Good luck. I'll put a search link in the description so you can search through eBay, but I don't know that they made a ton of them, or I don't know how many people are actually trying to sell them. I lucked out. I didn't even know it existed until I found the eBay auction for it. But again, a very cool game, very cool looking screwdrivers, great for any Doctor Who collector, and could be a fun game to play. Speaking of playing, you can also play these videos over here. If you haven't already, you can subscribe down there, hit that notification bell, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check out our website at fandomspotlight.com. We'll see you next time, and as always, have fun, and follow your fandom.